Hello. Well, uh, you know, uh, summer's coming to an end. Um, falls, you know, basically here. And, uh, yeah, uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 had uh, quite a bit of footage leaked. Um, a lot of people have talked about that already. Um, so in a way, um, I guess I don't have to completely cover it, but it's, you know, it's quite unfortunate, um, because, you know, this is, uh, gonna postpone, you know, um, Grand Theft Auto 6, at least by a year, you know, um, there were people complaining with the footage that it doesn't look all that great and everything could, um, but that's because, you know, it hasn't completed, you know, it hasn't been, it hasn't gotten to the point where everything is basically fantastic and, um, all is a go and you're able to basically just, uh, uh, show like a trailer or have some announcement with gameplay, uh, by Rockstar, um, so, you know, there's that. Um, but even then, you know, just looking at it, it the, the footage looked quite good. You know, even though it wasn't complete, what what was there, you know. Um, it looked quite good. And unfortunately, though, I'll have to be careful when... Um, when I put this video up, because... Um, Apparently, uh, Take Two Interactive, the company that essentially owns, you know, that or that does own uh, Rockstar, has been going around and uh, uh, like uh, 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 copywriting, like striking like certain videos with Grand Theft Auto Six in the title, even when it's just people talking like this. Or there's gameplay footage of uh, another Grand Theft Auto game or something. Um, <clears throat> basically because um, that's in the title of a video. Those get, like, flagged and taken down, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, it's... You know, it's unfortunate. Um... So I guess I'll probably be like, you know, um, think of some title, um, but you know, it's, it's, it's interesting because also, you know, I have fairly mixed feelings about this regarding like, especially with Rockstar, um, you know, it, it does suck. It's unfortunate at the, the footage and like the. It, it seems like the source code for the game uh, has been hacked uh, by a hacker, um, by some hacker who knows where apparently uh, the guy's name and picture was floated around the internet, but whether that was legit or not, I don't know. Um, but, you know, it does suck because, you know, it's going to, put the game off for at least a year, as I said earlier, because, you know, the, the, you know, I'm sure the game could get polished quite well within, like, a year or so, but even then, like, even if it was going to come out, like, next year, well, now it, it might be 2024, because, well, they're going to have to probably rewrite the code that way, or something, that way that the person who hacked and God, it isn't able to do a bunch of stuff for when the game legitimately comes out. Um, that way, whatever that guy got isn't the exact same. <clears throat> and, um, so, obviously that sucks. Though, with how Rockstar has been handling, like, things like, you know, Grand Theft Auto Online is what they really care about, and... You know, Red Dead Redemption 2 online isn't, uh, you know, 
you know, Red Dead Online isn't as, uh, doesn't have as much, like, updates and stuff, you know, like, really cool, like, uh, certain missions you can do online, and, you know, they, they update, like, things like certain, like, items and things of that nature from what I've heard, um, of course, I haven't, um, I don't actually have Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, at the time it happened, I needed more space, like a external hard drive, which I finally did get. So when the game came out in two, uh, four years ago, I wasn't able to get it. And finally I did, and then around that time, I was able to get the hard drive. But even then, I still haven't gotten any more games. It's been quite some many years for my like, PlayStation 4. That I've gotten, I haven't gotten this a single new game in like four or five years, and that's not because you know I don't like any of the games since then that they've put out. It's just, or none of them interest me. It's just you know, I've been more interested in obviously movies. Clearly, I talk about movies more often than anything else here. Um, but even then, you know, uh, I have course at times you know made videos regarding like um of me putting my camera at the tv screen while playing like like various grand theft, like grand theft auto games and i do intend to do a couple more like with the episodes from the liberty city because i've been playing those again um just getting back to the use of the controls amongst other games I've played. Um, but I've never, I haven't gotten Red Dead Online. Don't know why, or Red Dead Redemption 2 more specifically. Um, I've never been too big into online gaming anyway. So the whole online stuff was never really interesting to me. I did barely ever acknowledged Griff at the Auto Online. And I actually was never able to do anything with it because... I completed all the training stuff, but for some reason, uh, I wasn't able to get beyond the stuff with Lamar. I would always keep doing it over and over, even though, you know, I would complete all those, like, the stuff, like, the training. And then after that, um, yeah, for some reason, it just, I, I was unable to, you know, uh, go further. Um, but then again, I'm more into single player anyway, so at the end of it all, it works out fine for me. Um, though I, that's, that game's on PlayStation 3, so, you know, I didn't have, uh, the PS4 version or anything of the sort. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I, uh... Just the way they've handled, like, Red Dead Online over Grand Theft Auto Online is just, it's night and day, and it's very unfortunate um, how Rockstar's handling they You know, they could have two decent uh, uh, amount of income coming their way with uh, uh, Red Dead Online, even though it might not be as profitable as Grand Theft Auto Online, those who are really fond of Red Dead Online um, would definitely be all in it. You know, they play all the stuff that they would have that's like new updates and everything, and it's been like a whole year since they've had any updates, or over a year. It's like in June or July, it was like when, yeah, July, I believe, is when the last update happened, you know, last year. And um, they just had little things like, oh, well, here's some more special offers for like gold or some items that you can get that can help you with the game which while nice and all at the same time it's kind of like you're not giving the fans of this game any more interesting and cool stuff whereas Grand Theft Auto Online it's like every other month it seems like there's something new Maybe it's not that, fr I know it's not that frequent, but in, in comparing, it's like almost every other month or so, there's some word of some new 
update, some new mission ha coming uh, to GTA Online and um, all that. So, uh, yeah, it's so on that front, that's, you know, Rockstar has just not really uh, shown much care for the fans of Red Dead Online. Um, and there are a lot of them. I know that, you know, obviously hasn't sold as many copies of uh, games compared to Grand Theft Auto V. But then again, Grand Theft Auto V has been out for like nine years now. Uh, next year will be the 10th anniversary. It'll be 10 years since the last Grand Theft Auto game. Um, which is like the longest um, span of time that uh, GTA game uh, has not come out. You know, it's just interesting to see how this has all happened. Um, unfortunate, but, you know, you know, that's the downside with Rockstar. But at the end of it all, you know, th this whole GTA 6 footage leak and the whole source code stuff, that sucks too. Um, so... I hope I've explained why I have mixed feelings regarding all of this because of how it ha Rockstar's been handling certain things with the fans of a specific franchise and how they don't seem to care about that compared to this other when that's pretty bad. Um, <clears throat> I'll leave in the description and even hopefully pin the comment if I can remember that of um, uh, the professionals video. Um, he's somebody who does a lot of video game stuff he made like an over a two hour video which i know for some people you know that's a long time um for like watching something on youtube um but it's actually very well done and he gives reasons as to why rockstar should not have um you know abandoned R red dead online um compared to how they're handling grand theft auto online with the various updates and you know a lot of that stuff a lot of the stuff i've said regarding all that is <clears throat> really from watching his videos over the past many months and then this like like documentary like length video he put out um today as i'm recording it so it's like the, it's uh the 19th <clears throat> those might be the 20th Possibly 21st, you know. Should be the 20th, though, when you see this, but you never know. Sometimes with uploading, it can be fairly slow. Um, but, yeah, um, check that video out for more details. I know it's over two hours, but if you're interested in this at all, I think it's worth it. It's worth looking into, and, you know, it's worth uh, uh, getting a specific, like, uh, a certain view uh, about that sp specific situation like with Red Dead Online and GTA Online you know, the, comparing the two because a lot of people said it's a good thing Rockstar is abandoning Red Dead Online and all of this and he's going into various reasons as to why that's not the case and why it's bad for them um, and he makes a lot of great points um, and, um, yeah, uh, made a great video and, um, you know, I just wanted to, uh, uh, give credit for the various, uh, 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 information regarding Red Dead Online as well as, um, just want to share another uh, a video that's excellent that's out there now. I don't know if this video is excellent at all but you know it, it's just something that happened not too long ago this whole GTA 6 thing and then you know with him with his like documentary that he released and you know just sort of got me thinking and you know uh, I, do, I of course want to diverse uh, my channel more you know I mean I love talking about movies that's not gonna stop but you know video game stuff and other things to talk about or whatever or do i like to do that you know i know some of the stuff might not be all that interesting i i know i did some bad dub um the other day 
can release that. And I know that's not very good, and I've seen others do way better dubs, but I don't know, it's something different. Um, just to try something out, you know. Might do that for a little bit, and then if I not fond of that, all right, you know, I <laughs> I gave it a try, and you know, if I wasn't fond of it, then all right, and you know, if others don't respond to it, that's all right too. Um, but you know, I think sometimes it's good to do different things here and there. Um, you know, don't always want to do the exact same thing because sometimes. <clears throat> you know, one's channel and sort of gets sort of stuck, doesn't grow. Um, but also, you know, you, it also can show that, you know, I can do other things and just talk about movies, um, which I do love to do, but, you know, it's, I, I do like other things like video games and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about this, and now it sucks for Rockstar that this happened with the whole hack and leak. Um, but also, Rockstar also hasn't been the greatest of late regarding a certain section of their fans regarding, like, Red Dead. And so I thought that was sort of also worth mentioning and all that, but... um. Yeah, I think that's all, all I have to say about that topic, really, because otherwise I'm just going to be talking in circles. Um, so, um, <clears throat> you know, I mentioned fall is here. Um, you know, it was 90 degrees today, and it will be tomorrow. And then I'll be like, uh, like 70 or so. sixties and yeah. Or no, tomorrow will be seventies, I'm sorry. And then you'll be in the sixties. It's just yeah. Fall begins on um, September twenty third this year. Which is always interesting, you know. With um <clears throat> with all the seasons, you know, uh you know and various people I've talked to, and, you know, it's like, you know, people like, you know, like spring begins March 1st, and then summer is June 1st, and uh, September 1st is beginning of fall, and December 1st is winter. You know, that's not exactly how it goes. I think that's how many of us sort of see it, at least those within the Western Hemisphere, who, those times of year, that's when the, you know, the, uh, the seasons are uh, happening. You know, March time is um, spring, June is summertime, September is fall, December is winter. You know, so it's like just the first of those months, even though that's in the midst, of, like in the mid middle or near the end of a, any of those months. That's when the seasons actually begin. Um, <clears throat> for three months, and, uh, yeah. <sighs> Interesting t days, um, for better, for worse, whatever, uh, your d thought is on it. Mm. But, yeah. I don't know why I thought I said. I hope I said Northern Hemisphere, not Western. I don't know. It's, a, it's getting a little late at this point, so. I'm a little tired, so. If I did say that, I'm sorry I screwed up. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Um, last thing. Um, in the link below, my link tree, you can get my two books, The Wandering Sheriff, my Western, and uh, Downtime and Work Conversations, my three sh short stories book. Um, you can go and 
you'll find them there in the link tree below and also that's where uh, my social media links are and also there's like a buy me a coffee thing you know one of those like things where you could donate to somebody like a certain amount of money i don't know i doubt that'll ever happen but uh, it, it's there uh I don't know. A lot of people do that. And also, I don't really have anything posted there, like anything exclusive that only those who <laughs> give money could ever see. You know, I don't even know what I would really post there. I would say, like, uh, hello, thank you, or <laughs> whatever. I don't know. I guess you could put like exclusive videos or something there. I'm, a, I'm guessing be like a, sort of like Patreon or something like that where you donate you can donate a certain amount a month or donate once and then there you go uh, just from what I've looked at it that's what it seems to be like um, you can make posts and interact with those who donate but yeah that's in the all that stuff is in the link tree you can get the books if you want and um, yeah So this was some sort of like little thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, just sort of a spur of the moment thing. And uh, I hope that's all right with you all. So, um, yeah. Hope all of you are doing well. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye.